Hi, this is my first live here on Amazon, so I'm a little nervous, bear with me, but I wanna show you in this video uh, two very simple, easy, easy ways to make books at home. So I'm talking about something like this, pretty typical of a regular book, you know, half size, printed on both sides, very affordable if you use the products that I'm gonna talk, talk to you about here from Amazon. So something like this, or another option, super is easy, is making a book like this with the comb binder. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my favorite comb binding machine, my favorite printer, and the materials you need to make a book like this from home. Now, Amazon does have a book binding kit that is very affordable, that has things like the owl, you know, to make the holes and the clips and needles. Um, the bone folder, you know, what's called, and this is a ruler, but all of that is in here. And this is a great product. I think it's a great value because if you piece together everything, you know, from this kit, you know, it would, especially if you go to someplace like Michael's or something, but it's very affordable here on Amazon. However, this is, I think, a little bit more, if you really wanna make something nice, a nice diary, a nice notebook or something. Um, but it, it might require a little bit more time and skill level, but this, this is super easy. A child could do this. It's, it's a lot of fun, super easy to do, so let's get started. Now, why would you wanna make your own book from home? Why would you want to do that? Well, a couple reasons. Number one is right now a lot of libraries are closed or it's uh, pickups only, whole pickups only. You can't really kind of peruse and look through books and see what you want to take out. But also a lot of the classics are being taken out. They're being removed from schools, they're being removed from the library, old books are going out, newer books are coming in. So if you're a fan and you see the value of the classics, the older literature, the vocabulary, all of it, the subject matter, the morals, everything from the old time uh, literature, children's books, adult books, all of it, um, it's, it's hard to find today. So you can print it yourself at home. Um, here is another one, Swiss Family Robinson, you know, but this one's probably a little bit more unusual, the observations upon the prophecies of Daniel and the apocalypse of St. John. This is what I'm talking about, things you just don't normally see um, at the library or taught in schools, or these are great uh, children's books, The Tale of Patty Muskrat by Arthur Scott Bailey. Uh, these are very um, popular, great for kids. Now, Amazon does sell a lot of uh, classic reprints. For example, this is Little Prudy. Uh, this, is a, this is a Sophie May book. And so you can find these for a lot of the Arthur Scott Bailey books here, like The Tale of Patty Muskrat. Uh, so you could just buy it, but you could also make it yourself at home really affordable really cheap and so let's go over this method which is very popular now where can you find these old books before I, I go into that where could you find old books to print at home that are not copyrighted well you can find a lot of them on project Gutenberg um, they have great classics there online you can find books and um, print them download them and print them yourself there's lots of places now I use the Robinson curriculum for my family. It is um, a curriculum, a homeschooling curriculum, which I know a lot of parents are interested in homeschooling right now. And it's very affordable, 195 K through 12. And one of the major components of it is a book list. It's a very classic book list with titles such as these. So when you purchase the curriculum, you have access to all those books. It is a very long book list designed to keep your child busy reading from K through 12. It just gets harder as the list goes on. So we start off with books like this, The Tale of Patty Musrat, to, you know, books like this. Um, Swiss Family Rob and yeah, this is like an older high school book. So that is the Robinson curriculum. When you purchase it, you get all the books. You just have to print them and you know choose a method to bind them and get them into your children's hands so this is one way how you can do it now one of the big things to print a lot i print a lot is an ink efficient printer and so i'm recommending to you the epson 2750 i will show you right now if i can here will it let me yes here it is the Epson 2750, this is one of my best friends when it comes to homeschooling. It has cartridge-less uh, printers, okay? So 
ink, I'm sorry, ink cartridges. So you can open it here and you would refill the ink here. So this is amazing. I mean, just pennies for a page, you know, half a penny, black and white page. Um, it's incredibly efficient with the ink. I have only refilled it once, and I mean, I have printed a ton. The ink cartridges, they're meant to last about two years, and I'd say with normal use, definitely be <laughs> two years at least. Um, however, I've been printing like crazy, so it's more like once a year for me, but as you can see, I depend on it a lot. I print a lot. So the Epson 2750, no cartridges, just bottles of ink. I think the black one is like $20. That's two years worth of black ink, and printing things like this, half a penny per page, black and white. And it prints double-sided like this, okay? So what, it, what you do, how to get it like this, is booklet style. So when you hit print on your computer, you're looking at the dialogue options, you wanna hit the layout option and click on booklet, two-sided, two pages, you know, per page, like this. So when it comes out, you have a page with essentially two pages front and back. Two pages on the front, two pages on the back. But it's booklet style, so it's, it, it's in a particular order. That might not make sense when you look at it, but it will when it all comes together. Once you have that pack of the book, you need to cut it in the middle. So you have your book. Essentially, booklet style is when you fold it like this, when it's all done printed and you fold it like this, it will be in perfect number order. You just have to obviously cut it if it's a very thick book. So you need a paper cutter, which I didn't link. I don't have any particular favorite. But aside from that, once you have it all cut like this, so your book is all ready, then you would just hole punch the book. You would hole punch it. This is a two hole puncher. They have these on Amazon, so I linked it for you. You want something though that has the ruler because you wanna make sure as you're uh, hole punching the whole book, if you can't punch the whole book at once, I'm sure, you know, you're know you gonna have to do it in sections. You wanna make sure that the holes are evenly lined up throughout the book. So that's why you want one that has a ruler like this. So then you just take your time, you know, punching them all, making sure it's the same length here so that all the holes match up. And then what you want to do, where are we? <laughs> the two, the prongs, you need prongs. And I have them somewhere here and uh, I can't find them. Here they are, okay. So then after that, you want to use, this is another product from Amazon, just a prong fastener set, two hole prong. Two holes right here. You put the prong, and I'll take the tape off so you can see what it looks like. This one, if you want to make it more sturdy, you could do it twice. So I hole punched it twice with the two hole punch like this. And that's it, you just hole punch it and then you put the prong through. Doing it double like this really makes it stiff and sturdy. Okay, which I really like that. By the way, this is a great book here, Our Hero, General U.S. Grant by Josephine Pollard. You just can't find this book everywhere, so this is why you kind of want to print these from home. Um, and that's it. So there's your beautiful book. Um, I forgot to link it, but this is just book binding tape, black book binding tape. So you put this on the spine. And um, this is a silver Sharpie, which shows up really well on the book binding tape. And you have here, you know, write the book title. And that's it. So you can um, put them on your shelf and see what the books are. Super easy. Again, just print. Use enough, you need a, a good printer, the Epson 2750. That is a highly recommended printer for this. Um, great with ink, great with black and white and color. Uh, you need a two hole puncher like this. So once you have it printed in booklet style, you can also use a Foxit reader. There's different other programs that you can use to have the booklet style. Okay, so then you want a hole punch once or twice. Some of these, I think this one is just once. See, let me see if I can open it for you. Not that big of a difference, but if you do want it really sturdy, see, this one is just once. So this is a thinner book, smaller book. So you have that. The two prong set, 
cover it up with book binding tape. Makes it look a little nicer. You don't have to, it's just optional. And then again, just optional, you can use a silver Sharpie and write the title on the spine. So that is one method on how you can print. You can make a book at home, very easy. Now the other one is doing something like this. Printing it out and just using a comb, comb binder. This is, you have, you have several different sizes, obviously this is one of the thicker ones, but I have here different, the thinner ones as well. So it's good, these are very affordable. So it's great to just have a variety of sizes for this. Another thing that I like to use are the presentation covers. Here's a black one and the clear one. So for example, here's my book, here's the clear one, and here's the black one. I just think, you know, it makes it look a little bit nicer. Now this is very worn out. It has gone through a lot of children. It is Childhood's Happy Hours. Great book for children. Again, this is not one that you would find anywhere. Now, you look at the pictures here, and this would definitely kill a lot of ink if you don't have an ink efficient printer. But the pictures are really darling and they go really well with the book. You definitely want to print them. They really do enjoy them. But yeah, if you don't have an ink efficient printer, this is gonna hurt you. So here's Childhood Happy Hours. This is by Castle and Company Limited here. Great book, great illustrations. But again, you need that ink efficient printer. So all I did with this is just print it out. Just how it is, hit print. You could do double-sided. I didn't even do double-sided here, I should have. But I just print it like the file came. And then, super simple. Oh, I can actually turn it here and show you. Here it is, the Fellows comb binder. I recommend this one. This is the Star 150. Super affordable. It has, you can adjust the size here a little bit. It has an area here on the side where you can put all the different uh, combs. So you could do that. And then this is where all the little junk, the trash ends up. So very simple. I'll show you here with one. Let's get confused. Yeah, here we go. So you just put it in and then use a little lever here and it opens up the comb. And then that's it. You would take a sheet of paper. You would take your book, obviously. And you could do quite a few sheets at a time, really. But you'd put it in. This is hard to do with one hand. Here's the things here. Yeah, very hard to do with one hand. Let me see if I can hold it like this. Nope. Well, you get the idea. And then you just, I just didn't do it correctly. And that's it. And you would just keep weaving it through. Now you would want to do the clear presentation cover first because this is the cover. This is the first part of the book. And then all the book. And then at the very end, you would um, punch the black cover and then add the black, the black cover. And that's it. That's your book. So I really like this um, Bellows comb binder. Sorry, this is very awkward <laughs> for my first time. You know, it's just super easy. You print the book, you punch it, and you put the right size comb on it. If you want to make it nice, add the presentation cover. Um, and the black cover on the back, and that's it. So that's really all I wanted to show you, how easy it is to make a book at home. This is great for younger kids so that they can really see the words. And you know, this is great for older kids. This is fine. So that is how you can make a book from home Super simple, super easy. Um, the biggest investments would be the printer, obviously, and the fellow's comb binder. But after that, everything else is just really affordable. The combs and the two hole prongs, all those things are really super cheap. It's just the two big items 
um, that are the investment. But when you think about how much money you could save, actually doing the math, it is cheaper to make a book at home, print it like this and bind it, than it would be to take my 15 passenger homeschool van to the library, the gas that it would take. So, you know, and this is cheaper and faster than even Amazon Prime, but you know, I do love Amazon Prime. That's obviously where you're getting all these materials. And like I said, now I can't find it, but they have reprints as well. So if you like the idea of the classic books, but you don't want to even go through this trouble, then you can buy the uh, reprints here on Amazon, also very affordable. But you know, try making your own book. It's a lot of fun. Have your kids do it. Have them be in charge of their education. Take responsibility for it. Get them involved. Have them make their own books. It'll be a fun family project. All right, I hope you enjoyed this live stream and see you in the next one. Bye.